right. Welcome, welcome. I bet you all thought I was dead, but I wasn't. I was only in hiding. Uh, please let me know if there are any problems with the audio, uh, because I have actually had to totally reinstall and reset Windows and everything since the last time I streamed. So, same computer technically, but uh, everything got reset and renumerated, and I have not yet messed around with stuff too, too much. So, this should function, but if there are any problems, just let me know. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to General Confusion Plays. Again, today, we are playing a weird old game. Uh, a game that I, I really enjoy, and that actually, wildly, um, got a patch... In the at the end of 2022 after 25 years this is Emperor of the Fading Suns this game came out in 1997 it is a a, a turn-based 4x game kind of a, a civilization alike if you will with the twist being this game is set in space and unlike many space games um it does not treat planets as like uh, how do you put it? Like in a lot of, of Space 4Xs, uh, planets are kind of like singular posts. You know, like Master of Orion 2 or Galactic Civilizations, where they're just one place, one node, where you build buildings and have troops and etc. Oh no, in Emperor of the Fading Suns, planets are maps. The game is made up of like 30 F 34X maps. Uh, and you can travel that you travel between where you can build structures, fight wars, etc., etc., uh, which is wild, and for 1997 was incredibly uh, optimistic, put it that way. Uh, this is one of those games that was released broken and never fixed, so the vibes were always immaculate, absolutely just chef's kiss. This is like Dune, Warhammer 40k, you know, it's a feudal universe, the stars are dying, the noble houses are fighting over who gets to be emperor, etc., etc., etc. But the game was just broken in half. Like, a lot of the NPCs never made moves. Um, the A lot of the mechanics, like the church mechanic and the trading mechanic, and etc., never really functioned the way they were supposed to. So, playing the game was cool, but also there was, like, very little challenge. Um, and it just got kind of boring. At the end of 2022, in like December of 2022, the developers of this game released a patch. Again, to emphasize, this is a patch 25 years after the game's release. It was never a commercial success. It never made a ton of money. And then a quarter of a century later, they were like, hey guys, so just to let you know, um, we've patched the game and we've fixed a bunch of these problems and updated the architecture of the game to a modern... Uh, coding base so that it can actually be modded more effectively now uh, and so it's it's not a whole new game but it's actually a lot more functional or so i've been told so this is the first time i'm going to be playing emperor of the fading suns in quite a while let me go up to my actual desktop and we will fire up the game and i believe uh we'll actually be able to see the intro for literally the first time Oh my god, the FMV actually plays. For half a millennium, humanity has lived among the stars in darkness. Humans reached the stars long ago, building a republic of high technology and universal emancipation. Then they fought over squandered it, and finally lost it. Now a new dark age has descended upon humanity, for the greatest of civilizations has fallen, leaving ignorance and fear scattered among the ruins of many worlds. Even stars are dying. Then from the ashes of our ruin, Vladimir halted our decline. Proclaimed emperor by popular decree, he united the known worlds of human space under his cunning and charismatic rule. Vladimir created the Great Charter, declaring how the powers of rulership would be divided and how his successors would be elected. 
Five scepters from Mother Church, protector of our souls. Five for the Merchant League, heralds of our past. And five for the noble houses, holders of our future. But each of these powers wished to rule it in their own way, and schemed to gain complete power at any price. Vladimir's military might convinced the noble houses to concede his rule, for they could not stand in battle before this master tactician. The Merchant League, last remnants of the Second Republic, made little pretense of their disdain for the charter of Vladimir, but they accepted his rule nonetheless. Fearful of his popularity among the people, the Patriarch of the Universal Church accepted Vladimir's rule on the condition that the church present him the crown, thus ensuring their ritual role in approving all his successors. Vladimir's coronation as the first emperor of the known worlds took place on Byzantium Secundus, which had been declared the imperial throne world. In the year 4550 AD, Vladimir crowned himself with his own hands and died. igniting a war for the spoils of Vladimir's empire. The commonwealth of humanity was shattered, overcome by iron-fisted feudal lords. As the suns fade, so dies humanity's hope. God, it's so 90s. I love it. So that is the basic outline of Emperor of the Fading Sun's backstory. To recap real quick, uh, we exist in a far future feudal empire, uh, which was set up after the collapse of an advanced and enlightened republic. Uh, the republic crumbled uh, under its own weight, under internal rebellion and external pressures. Um, various groups of people seized power, uh, including the rise of a theocratic, uh, inquisitorial, like, medieval Catholic-esque church, uh, and the rise of various noble houses that claimed control over different planets. Uh, humanity had regressed. Uh, this guy, Vladimir, declared himself emperor, rose up, won the war, essentially through military power, and then on the eve of his coronation, immediately after he crowned himself, he was mysteriously assassinated by presumably psychic powers, some kind of poison, who really knows, but something assassinated him, uh, and the whole thing collapsed. The Charter, however, is still in effect, so uh, there technically exists an Empire, and there should be an Emperor, but there isn't, because in order to be Emperor, you have to be able to get yourself elected, and everybody hates each other. But let's start a new game, shall we? We're going to use the historical map. So you get to select one of your five houses. Uh, you have House of Ihalan, House Hazat, House Takados, House Hawkwood, and House Al Malik. I'm gonna turn the. Well, I would love to turn the computer sound down. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna turn the computer sound down just a little bit so you guys can hear a little bit better. Uh, and yes, even the cursor is very 90s. I love it. Um, 
basically, so which house you start with determines uh, some things about which technologies you start with and which planet you start in control of. It's been a long time since I've played this game, so full disclosure, I don't really remember which is which. Um, okay, if it's still drowning me out, let me turn it down again a little bit. Uh, I am going to have to turn the music off once I'm in the game, just for, like, uh, liability reasons, probably. It'll get claimed if I don't. Uh, let's go with Takato. So let's let's turn on the brain for Takato's. And so next, uh, we can choose difficulty. I'll set them all on to average. Who knows what that will do. Uh, I am going to turn the tutorials off. This is a, a a dangerous game for myself because it's been a long time since I played this, but they they're very annoying. They pop up a lot. All right, Salandra of House Staccatos, AD forty nine fifty six. Um, I can be any of these guys. I'm gonna pick Salandra because Salandra's got the cool eye makeup and doesn't have the nipple rings. That those look that and like the, the the neck fat ring. That looks so uncomfortable, Nikolai bro. What are you doing to yourself? Uh, yeah, sure, I'm Solandra, that's fine. Uh, here we actually get to determine our own traits. Uh, so, there are a bunch of positive traits, and there are some negative traits that give you extra points. So, for example, Dakados has decadence, which means they make less money from taxes, and they also have inbreeding, which means people like them less and they rebel. Fall asleep in a predatory ring factory, exactly. Why are there two perverts and a hot lady as an option? Because that's how staccatos, baby. Perverts, hot ladies, they're, those are not even like, like, those can overlap. That Venn diagram is nearly a circle uh, in house staccatos. Oh, uh, we can take despotism so we get less research, insanity so we lower production, inept military training, tyranny, spendthrift. I love these. They're, they're so thematic. Incredible. Um, we start as positive with Noble Scholars, which for some reason means we have higher food yields. I'm not sure why Noble Scholars does that, but it is what it is. Mercantile Savvy, so we can trade for more money, and we start with an Ancient Documentarium, so we start with technology in bioengineering and psychosocial engineering. Uh, we can thwart rebellions with our internal security apparatus, and we get a bonus if a Noble unit is in a stack. Uh, so, this is actually more useful than it sounds, trust me. A warrior ethic would also be really great. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna play the, the basic for right now, so this is gonna be how we, uh, how we go. So we have lower taxes, we get rebellions, however we know how to thwart rebellions, we start with some technologies, uh, we're good at trading, uh, we have more food, and we get a bonus if a noble is in our stack. Uh, starting off, we do have a lab, uh, so we can start researching something. Uh, we have under psychosocial engineering. Uh, you can look at the archive. The archive is actually very cool here. So if you click on the archive, it opens up this like illuminated manuscript that describes the technologies in very anti-technology ways. Uh, this is this is written by a priest of the church. The church hates technology. Uh, many technologies end up prescribed. Uh, through the game, and this is actually a technique you can use against your rivals to get the church to declare one of their technologies illegal, and then the Inquisition lands and burns down their research labs. So, Fractal Metaphysics uh, is about... Uh, it's actually not clear what it's about exactly, but what it lets you do is it lets you research cyber robotics. Uh, Prana Bindu lets you uh, recruit assassins and tracker legions and research psychosonic manipulation. Uh, Vow and Symbiont Psychology let you deal with uh, the aliens, and Parapsychology uh, lets you start researching uh, Psychic Powers, which is very, very cool. Uh, we have other options as well. Uh, we could research Basic Physics, which would allow us to start researching kind of down that way. Composite Armor is a very, very useful technology, so we will definitely want that at some point. Immunology, which lets us cure necrosis. Psychopharmacology lets us research combat drugs and get drug-addled psychopaths for our army. Uh, genetics and xenobiology can be important for various specific things. Can we get space psychics? We can absolutely get space psychics. Yeah, let's start researching parapsychology. Why not? Okay, the new patriarch is orthodox. I'll talk about this in a minute. So, here we are. Uh, we start on 
uh, planet Severus, and we have our little fleet. So this is the space map. We can click around through here. You can see all the various planets. Most of these planets we don't have maps of, so we can't actually see what is on the planet. Uh, we start with our little fleet here. If we right-click, we can open up the stats of our units. So we have the Vlad Cruiser, uh, we have the Frigate, and we have the Bulk Hauler, which is our big transport thing. This is confusing, um, and it will stay confusing for a while. I will try to kind of explain uh, how this goes. Basically, uh, loyalty is a measure of how likely this unit is to defect. You could only Units only defect if they're attacked by specific things, but if this is like their morale rating, basically. Uh, health, of course, is their health. Uh, the sect does have effects. Uh, units that share your sect, or that are recruited on planets from populations that share your sect, are more loyal and more effective. Um, you can actually see here, right now there, I don't know if there's any way to pop this up, but like some of their stats are being affected, right? Are affected if their loyalty goes up to like 90 or 100%. Um, the Eschatonics are our sect, but uh, because of our traits, our units have lower loyalty uh, because we suck, basically. Um, these are our various resources. This tells you what resources is required to construct this unit. Uh, this unit requires the metal, a bunch of electronics, a bunch of ceram steel, which is the advanced metal, and three, I think those are called wormholes or singularities, sorry, which is a very, very advanced resource that's very hard to create. Um, Combat in this game happens in a bunch of different rounds, which are related to, like, there's a bunch of different attack types, and they happen in a specific order. So the Vlad Cruiser has a ranged space attack and a direct space attack, which means in those two segments, it gets to fire. Um, it can use these to try to bombard ground units as well, and space attacks and ground attacks are totally separate categories. So only certain units can kind of cross over that way like close space attacks, which fighter craft and stuff have, and frigates have, cannot be used to attack the ground, but ranged space can. So cruisers can bombard the ground, um, ground defense units will have a ranged space attack that they can use to attack spacecraft that are trying to bombard the ground. So there's all kinds of cool stuff about that. Um, Bulk haulers have, you can see these little boxes down here, they can carry four units. Um, they only have a weak close space attack, low accuracy, moderate strength, whereas Vlad Cruiser has accurate and extremely high damage base attacks. I believe, I can't prove this, and I don't recall if this is true, but I believe these strength ratings are literally percentages of health. Um, and there's a random factor about how much damage exactly you do, which is related to the armor of the target, and there's a roll-off between them. But anyway, like, the Vlad Cruiser can straight up blow up another spacecraft in one volley, uh, if they're not very careful. So anyway, uh, this is our planet, and as you can see, every planet is, like I said, a full-ass map. Like, this is the map of a Civilization game. Uh, we start with... Uh, no vision over much of the planet, because we have lost our maps, because this is the Age of Darkness. Uh, but we do have roads built. We can see there's a settlement over here. We don't know what kind. Uh, there's an island down there. Over here we have more roads, another settlement, uh, and various places over here to go. So this is kind of a water world, which is fun. So what do we have here? We have... Uh, a bunch of different cities. Every different kind of city produces different things. So if we right-click on the factory, or the farm over here, we can see the farm has is dropping in loyalty because, again, people hate us because we suck. Uh, the city sect is the Eschatonics. It does have a healing rate. It harvests 58 out of the maximum 66 food. Um, as its loyalty goes down, its harvest will decrease. So having high loyalty can be very, very important. Uh, we can click on the build button and we can see what can be constructed in our cities. This factory right here uh, can construct uh, water ships uh, and it can also construct armored units. You can see we have a self-propelled anti-air that has an air attack. We have tank killers, medium tanks, scout tanks. We actually cannot build the scout tank. Uh, presumably we don't have the technology for that yet, but we do have the technology for tanks, tank killers. We can't build fighter craft. Oh no, it's because they require electronics, and we don't have any of those. And then we can also build militia, 
cheap anti-aircraft guns that are very slow. Uh, we can build anti-tank guns and artillery. Uh, before the patch, what's really funny about this is before the patch, anti-tank guns and artillery, for some reason, had incredibly high attack strength. Like, artillery was, I think, 3 slash 70, and anti-tank guns were 5 slash 70 or 60, something like that. So it used to be that you never built advanced units, you just spammed anti-tank, artillery, and sometimes anti-aircraft all game. Uh, but that has been changed uh, since the patch, so that those those guns no longer dominate the entire game. Also, they take a couple turns to build. 390, that's funny. Um, the pick keeps freezing, computer restart did not help. Uh, I'm not sure why that would be. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry about that, Nick. Is anyone else having that problem? If so, I can try to fiddle with, um, with the various settings and see if we can get stuff built. Um, the most important unit is the engineer. The engineers can be used to build new cities, uh, and you need those to, like, do things, basically. In terms of units, we start with some militia. Militia are a very cheap, shitty unit. They have a very weak, close attack. They have almost no armor, but their maintenance cost is low. Uh, they are a combat unit, uh, and they are green, so they suck. Basically. Uh, if we right-click up here, you can see the map of the whole uh, the whole planet. You can also save this and export it as an image, which is kind of cool. Uh, we also start with a little fleet, so we have some destroyers. And we have some naval transports. Uh, we have a lab over here. We have our palace. Okay, this is this is the center of the planet, right? This palace has our scepters. Our scepters are votes. Uh, every ten years, there is an election for an uh, emperor. And every noble house gets has five scepters, which are the physical votes. And if these are taken from you, uh, then whoever t took them and has them gets to place those votes. Uh, it's purely a matter of, you know, who dares wins, caveat emptor, possession is nine-tenths of the law. So if you lose these, you lose your vote. Uh, by contrast, if you uh, take some from somebody else, you can steal their votes, uh, and you can elect yourself emperor with their power. However, there's one other limiter on this. Byzantium Secundus is the imperial planet. You have a fort on Byzantium Secundus with a noble in it. Nobles are the physical members of your family. They are your your family units. You must have one of them on Byzantium Secundus in order to vote in the election. If this guy dies, we don't get to place any votes whatsoever. Uh, but also, if you kill another person's noble, then they don't get to place any votes. However, if you start a fight on Byzantium Secundus, the Imperial Guard, who own these Grey Forts, um, will come to fuck you up, and you can't beat them. On Byzantium Secundus, we have several advanced units. The, the Armor Legions, these are power-armored troops. We don't know how to build this shit anymore. So if these guys die, um, then they're, they're gone until we figure out how to build them again. We also have a bunch of anti-tank guns and artillery and some planet-to-space missiles who have this ranged space attack that can fight um, ships. Yeah, there's no fighting on Byzantium Secundus. However, there, you can use spies. So in our fort, if we can build, you can see there is a spy unit. Uh, these guys are deniable assets. They can fight on Byzantium Secundus. They do, however, cost an officer in order to build. So first you have to build an officer, then you have to build a spy out of that officer. Uh, but forts can build those guys, and you can get all kinds of other advanced units like this. Going back to our planet, the Varus, um, you can also see that in our palace we have some other units here that are interesting. We have uh, a unit of Grimson's Legion, which are listed as the Chemshock Legion. Uh, they require biochemicals to make, uh, so they're, these are drugged up psychopaths um, wearing heavy armor. They have very high armor. Um, they also have a very, very strong close attack. If you compare these to, like, standard infantry, um, Grimson's do, does... Uh, they're more accurate in the direct and more powerful, and they also have a more powerful close attack. Uh, and they also have quite a bit more armor, but very low side defense. So they're very good soldiers, but they're vulnerable to being 
uh, psychically exploded. Uh, also, their spotting is worse, so they can see less shit. Uh, I'm not sure what else I can build in the palace. Yeah, just the basic stuff. We really don't have a whole lot to go with. Okay, can you relearn to make better units of power armor? Yes, so we have labs. Labs research technology. Uh, literally each laboratory you assign to a technology, it continues to research that. It, lab research is 92 points per turn. They cost you money. These technologies, once researched, are physically stored in the lab that researched them. And if one of your technologies is declared illegal by the church, the Inquisition can come and attack that lab and burn it down. And if they burn the lab down that has a technology in it, you lose that technology because your research, your physical research media has been destroyed, uh, which can be very, very problematic. Uh, down here, we have all our resources. We can see our food. Uh, we are harvesting a little bit more than we're eating, so we're good on food. Uh, we are not harvesting any energy whatsoever. Uh, we are not constructing any metal. Uh, we're getting any trace elements, so we don't have any mines. Uh, we do have exotica, which we are harvesting and not consuming. Uh, we don't have any chemicals, but we could build a chemical plant to produce them if we wanted to. Uh, we also don't have any biochems, but we would really like those so that we can build more chem shock legions. Uh, so we need 10 energy, 10 exotica, and 10 chemicals to produce 10 biochems. Now, uh, arboreums and farms produce exotica. Chemicals are produced in chemical plants from energy and trace metals. Uh, trace is harvested in mines alongside metal. And energy is harvested in wells, which do not produce anything else. So we need to build a bunch of stuff before we can start getting these advanced resources. The most advanced resource is Singularities, it built into Cyclotron. These are used to produce spaceships, once you research how to do those. Um, but they're super, super expensive. You need energy, you also need monopoles and gems. Gems are harvested in mines, but very rarely. Monopoles are created in the Fusorium out of energy and electronics. Electronics require energy and trace. So basically, every single Singularity you create uh, takes like 40 energy plus a bunch of other stuff that's a rare resource. It's it's tough to produce singularities. Uh, other things on the map. So you can see we have our palace. We have a shield generator which protects everything inside here from being exploded by space bombardment. Uh, over here we have a church which contains a unit of clergy which are eschatonics. Our, our sect is eschatonic. That's who we, we follow. Uh, there is also an Agora, which is owned by the Merchant League. We can buy and sell resources uh, from the Agora. Right now we have 4500 bucks in the bank. As you can see, a single singularity costs 7000 so we couldn't buy one even if we wanted to. Uh, there is also a fort. This is owned by the Imperial Eye, which is the Imperial Spy Agency. Uh, they have a fort on everybody's starting planet, and uh, there's a little army in there, so whoever controls the Imperial Eye uh, can control the fort. If we look at our diplomacy, we have the other four houses, the League, the Church, and the Vow, who are aliens. On Byzantium II, you can see one of the really important things, uh, the Imperial Regency. Every ten years when people get together to elect someone, uh, if someone gets elected regent, they can distribute control of these three agencies, the Stigmata, the Imperial Eye, and the Imperial Fleet. The Imperial Fleet is a bunch of spaceships and some troops in orbit around Byzantium Secundus. Uh, the Imperial Eye is the spy agency that controls the forts on everybody's home planet. And Stigmata is a, a huge garrison on another planet that is holding off this alien Zerg-like insectoid race. Uh, but there's no rule that the people who control these things can't just use them for their own political purposes. So. One of the key strategies in this game is getting someone else elected Imperial Regent in exchange for a promise to make you a minister, and then abusing your power as minister to take the resources of the ministry and using them for their own political goals. Which is hilarious. Anyway. Okay, so let's start actually doing some stuff. We've been talking about this game for like half an hour, and no events have occurred. Um, I am going to, unfortunately, have to turn off the music. I'm sorry. It is really loud. And also, like I said, I think it's probably going to get me claimed. Uh, so, 
We've got some exotic around here. We do have an energy uh, hex over there, which could be used to build a well. If you build a well nearby to that, then it will uh, it will harvest extra energy. Um, in terms of production, what we want is we want to get some mines going as well. We've got some mountains up there. We've got some locations up there that we could claim. So let's start assembling a little bit of an army. Um, in our shield, you can see we have some metal and food. Uh, again, everything in this game is physical units. Like the places that produce a thing will have a stack of that thing show up. And if you raid an enemy planet, you can literally physically steal their resources and take them away, which is, I think, hilarious. Uh, let's assemble some troops, shall we? So we've got some artillery. We've got an engineer over here. Uh, this engineer... Do I want to build anything over here? We've got some exotica over there, which could be useful. We've also got some energy over there. I'm going to send this engineer over in this direction. Uh, and he's got, no, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I did it wrong. I unselected the engineer. Everything starts by default selected. So they all want to, like, move. Um, okay, I need to, I need to cancel your orders. Stop that. Okay. We're just, sorry, the control scheme of this game can be, is awkward to get a hold of. So this guy is right now selected. If he's, if he was green, then he would be unselected. We're going to move him over there. Do I play risky with ruins? Do I always bring all the guns for every single one? Um, I, it varies a lot. I'm honestly not experienced enough with this game anymore to give a good answer to that. Uh, I do start with some aircraft, which is really cool. So I've got a tank, and our self-propelled artillery. I've got a gunship, a strategic bomber. Okay, so I've got some cool stuff. Uh, I am going to take the troops out of this fort. Why is green not selected? Because, fuck you, that's why. Like, that's, that's realistically the answer. Okay, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to load up uh, our tanks. We're going to send an officer to give our troops a bonus. That's what officers do. Uh, we're also going to load up the dragonfly and our artillery. And I don't think I'm going to take the strategic bomber. If I recall correctly, and this is just me, me remembering, um, the, I think the strategic bombers have to go back to a city every so often or they crash. Um, but don't quote me on that. I might just be lying. So let me, okay, that transport's full. Let me get one militia in there as well. And we'll take this army and we will head up that way. Great. And now... Uh, next turn, we should be able to uh, unload. I think we should be able to unload. Oh, I can't unload cargo into the ocean. That's right. So I need to actually move onto the land in order to unload those guys. Okay, so we're going to move that army up there. We're going to take those two little settlements and uh, hopefully have a good old time. Don't need to move anything off the church. Uh, this farm doesn't have anybody in it, so I am going to go ahead and build a militia in there just to kind of be a guard. Uh, there's also a city over there, so in this factory, I would like to get some uh, tanks going. And then uh, the other thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to build some more structures. So I would love to start an engineer. Uh, that's going to cost me a big chunk of my metal, but that's okay. Uh, hold on one second. There's something trying to run elsewhere on my computer. Okay, I fixed it. All right, and we're back. Uh, I've still got some food and some metal and etc. But I don't know if there's much more that I want to build. Uh, I'll get some artillery going. Why not? Artillery is always good to have. And we're tacking up, so I think that is going to be the turn.
Not all of my units have been moved. That's fine. We're going to end the turn. Back to me. So we finished producing a Militia Legion. Uh, let's go ahead and get some artillery just for self-defense. And Alexius wants Microbiology Technology. He will give me $440 for it. That's fine. Microbiology is a very basic tech. So I'm okay with uh, having it sent out. Uh, this little fleet I don't really want to do anything with. At the moment, I just want them to be hanging out, chilling, maxing, relaxing, all cool. We're going to set that guy to sentry so he doesn't keep popping up. These fine fellas uh, are going to go back to the palace. Yeah, back to the palace with you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, you keep going down over here. We're going to have that engineer build a road out to that energy area. Um, all these guys can go on sentry. This little army will leave a couple of militia in the farm. The rest of them can go back to the palace. Great. This group, let's unload cargo. Yep, unload all of our cargo. Okay, here's our little army. And we are going to move this little army forward. Okay, great. Metal in the mountains, so hopefully that's a mine. And we can get some... Uh, some good stuff going on. I'm going to unselect everything except the gunship so I can move him forward to kind of scout. Okay, there's an anti-aircraft gun in the mine. And that's a fort with one militia in it. Okay, grand. That should be a great, easy little takeover. And meanwhile, the fleet will go back over here so that we can pick up more troops. Maybe from the palace army. Um, I would like to send, I think. Let's send a noble, the Grimson's Legion, the infantry. Uh, we'll move this coal group next turn, but we'll send four more units off. Hey, Microfusion, how's it going? Uh, the Arboreum actually has an artillery and an anti air gun in it, which is kind of cool. Uh, factory is still producing tanks. That's great. I can't afford another engineer because I don't have any metal because I don't have no mines. That's a shame. What I might do is I might actually um, take some of my advanced units off of Byzantium Secundus. I don't think there's any real risk of uh, a regent being elected right now. So I'm going to grab a couple of my power armor legions. Uh, and I'm going to move them off Byzantium Secundus. So, we're going to launch that ship into space. Uh, we can see here we have a, a couple of freighters from other houses, House Hawkwood and I think House Al Malik. And we also have the Imperial Fleet. Uh, the Imperial Fleet starts with a Cadiz Dreadnought, which is a terrifyingly powerful uh, ship with 99 armor and the most powerful space attacks. And also it's a couple of cruisers, a couple of destroyers, some frigates, etc. It's a very, very powerful formation, and you really don't want to fight it. Uh, it's going to take several jumps for me to get over to Severus. So we're going to jump to Criticorum, and that will take pretty much all of our move. But being in orbit around this planet, we can now look at the map. We don't have any details about what's down here. But we can look down and see, oh, okay, so there's a bunch of settlements connected by roads over there. This is quite a big planet. There's one lone settlement up there. Out of that central hub over on that side so it's kind of a cool little uh cool little place we love it um we're not going to land on it though we're going to keep on going down we're going to go down through cadavas and back to severus which is of course our lovely home land uh, we're going to put these guys on sentry so that they don't keep popping up and annoying us uh, this guy we're going to put on oh nope i put the wrong guy on sentry Put that guy on sentry, these guys on sentry, these guys on sentry, these guys on sentry. All right, next turn. House Decados. All right, we're still producing medium tanks. Uh, we're going to stick with that. We'll, we should get some metal income coming up shortly. 
So yeah, we're going to keep producing some tanks and artillery. Uh, the symbiotes have captured a city on Absolution. So this is where the, um, like, the garrison force ministry is. The symbionts are these weird zerg-like amalgamation kind of creatures. Uh, and you can see the fantastic art for them capturing a city. I don't even know what this is. This is like a like a single shot smooth bore pistol of some kind maybe it's a laser who knows this woman back here she's just sticking her butt out towards the aliens with a knife in her hand it's really not clear what's happening but it's clearly but it's obviously bad uh celestra wants microbiology that's fine yep we'll just spread microbiology everywhere usara wants hospitals and is willing to pay quite a bit for it um hospitals will help them with their population but they won't help them fight us so that's fine uh, I can always use the money. Let's actually hop into diplomacy real quick. Um, Alexius, you have some technology, don't you? Uh, you don't have technology. Cancel. I don't want to talk to you, actually. Yeah, you don't have any... No, does nobody have any... Nobody have any technology I would want? Technology. Yes, give me physics. Give me physics, technology, and I'll give you money. Uh, let's call it like 500 Firebirds. Message sent. We'll send that message out. Usara, you don't have any technology that's done. All right, that's the only diplomacy I really want to do. Maybe she's trying to distract the aliens. That must be it. It's the only possible answer. All right, let's warp on over to Kadavas. Uh, is Kadavas interesting? Uh, this is pretty much just a giant desert of a planet. A couple of places down there. Uh, one big sort of urban area around a river valley, which is cool. Another city down that way. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's not as cool as my planet. All right, let's get the whole army selected. Let's not double-click on anyone. We're going to go up into the hills. Okay, we don't have enough move on our militia to go into the hills, I don't think. So that's fine. Next turn, we'll be next to that miner. I keep right-clicking on my map when I don't mean to. We're going to go over there, and we're going to... Uh, what is the key to build a road again? Road, that's it. It's R. Perfect. I love it. Okay, we're building another tank. We're going to move this tank over to uh, the shield so that it can load up. Over here, we've got these guys. Uh, we don't need the spy, but we will take uh, one of the anti tank guns and an, or let's just take an anti tank gun. Let's make it four units. We can load them up into a transport. Uh, and we'll send the transport and one of our uh, destroyers over this way to go see what's going on with, uh, with these folks down here. Anything else that I need to do? I think we're probably pretty much good. Uh, you can, if you want, change the sect of the planet. Um, but doing that will piss off everyone who's not a member of that sect for, like, a long time. Uh, what is the significance of roads? It's faster movement. Yep. When you're moving across a road, it's one one move point per hex. Uh, when you're moving across terrain, it's at least two, often more. Like, going through hills, I think, is four. Um, and so, like, if I leave these guys behind, these guys can move right up here. And they, uh, oh, I guess it's three on hills, actually. That mine only has one anti-aircraft gun, so we're just going to attack with the guys who can reach it. Uh, we're going to make a normal attack, and you'll get to see what combat looks like. Okay, actually they had more than was visible. They had some infantry and some other, uh, some other garrison units, but we won. One of our units surrendered, but because we won the battle, uh, we still got to keep them. So we can see we are harvesting... Uh, 59 metal and one trace from this location. So that is great. And now we can move into the mine because it's on a friendly road. So fantastic.
We have captured the mine. Uh, this fort, we don't know what else they might have in there. We're probably going to hold off on that for the moment. But uh, we will go ahead and build us another militia. And now we have an actual metal income, which means we can start to construct things on a regular kind of way. The army composition in this game was fun. Yeah, it can be. It can be fun. Go ahead and end the turn. House de Cados. Okay, thank you, House de Cados. Um, I don't need to be building more artillery in this farm. Mine is producing militia. Let's go ahead and get an anti-tank gun up there. Get I reject Ah, Celestial rejected my terms. Rude. Uh, yeah, it's fine. You can have hospitals. Okay. You go down to Severus. So now... These guys... And land. Uh, when you are landing on a planet, uh, your landing craft will often take damage. Uh, exceptions: you can land in. If you land in one of your own cities, you don't take damage. If you land on the open ground, you do take some damage, but usually your freighter will survive. Uh, there are also assault landers, which can land anywhere without taking damage, uh, but they can only uh, carry two units. So we're going to land in the mine. Uh, I accidentally landed all of my ships except the one that I wanted to, because I'm very stupid. Why don't we take off with those again? Uh, yeah, we're out of move, so we can't land that, that vessel. Unfortunate. Hey, Andreas. Good to be back. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, in the factory, we're still building a tank. That's fine, and our metal income, I think, should allow us to get some, uh, some good production done. Okay, that, oh, that's a well, and it has energy near it. Um, they have a, at least an anti-tank gun and an artillery. They probably have some, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure how I feel about trying to take that with only four units. Uh, let's unload over here. Uh, by the way, you can see how the armor of these units has dropped. Uh, that's because they are no longer in a city. Being in a city, basically there is a defensive bonus for being in a city in this game, but it's it's shown via uh, an increase in armor level. Uh, so you can see Grimson's armor has dropped now. It's still quite a bit higher than the infantry. I don't think four units is going to be enough to take that well, but we're going to go back and pick up some more troops. Um, I've got this tank, and go over there to the shield. Um, I'm going to grab this artillery unit, and that artillery unit. And I don't think I need the spy. I think I'm going to grab two more artillery as well. So one, two, three, four... We'll put those in a transport. Uh, we'll come down there. We'll get some artillery support so that we can we can blow them up effectively. Get this guy into the mine. He can sit there and heal for a minute. And in a little while, we'll be prepared to attack that fort and take it. Great. House de Cados. Okay, research of parapsychology has been complete. We could now research Pranabindu to allow for assassins. Uh, we have microbiology so we can get uh, psychopharmacology. This would let us go down the trajectory that will lead us to recruiting those chem shock legions, of which we have one. Uh, or we could get genetics, which leads to other things in the, uh, the future. Um, nine research points available. Our lab only researched 79 points because its loyalty has dropped because they're disloyal cowards. Hey, Axel, what is this? This is Emperor of the Fading Suns. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and research. You can also research Theurgy, which is um the church psychic powers. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Prana Bindu. 
Yes, fleshly manipulations such as the pan creator never intended. Uh, yes, let's, that sounds good. Fleshly manipulations, I love it. Sounds very house staccatos. We're going to keep producing medium tanks. Oh, we have our first produced engineer, so that's lovely. We're not going to build anything there. Um, uh, let's get an anti-tank gun going. The symbionts have captured another city, so it sounds like things are not going well. I've started selling hospitals to everybody, so I will continue. And let's land our power legions. Uh, I'm going to land them right up there in that mine and unload them. We can take off again. And now we have a pretty substantial little force here. And if we combine everybody up, we should be able to clear this fort. Unit spotted. Oh, they got some food in there. They got an officer. Yeah, let's clear this fort real quick. Excellent. Perfect. So we took the fort. We're going to move into it. We captured 388 points of food. That's actually pretty incredible. Uh, we'll let some of these units have a little bit of time to heal, but as you can see, these, uh, these power legions with those, that really high direct and close accuracy and solid damage, they're good. They are, they are good ass units. Um, I mean, they're basically as good as officers in close combat, plus they can fight air units a little bit, and they have a direct attack that is very comparable to anti-tank guns. So yeah. We're doing, we're doing fine. We've captured a fort, captured a mine, so our tax income should be a little bit higher. Um, in fact, we can look at our house. You can see our tax is... Uh, we're making twenty-four seventy-five in taxes, but we're currently paying thirty-two seventy in unit pay. So that's a little bit of an issue. Um, we are act actively losing money every turn. I didn't quite realize that. Hmm. That's a problem. Um... I don't think I can raise taxes enough to make up for this reasonably. I think our production will be crippled if I do that. Um, maybe I can skim money. What's my maximum tide skim? Not much. Uh, and if I lower unit pay, my unit morale will drop. Huh. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. I need to be making more money. I'm not, not making sufficient moolah. That's a... Uh, two... Many years to put on transports. Fuck you. Yes, board the transport. Okay, we are going to build here. Uh, hold on. This is energy. Yes, we are going to build a well. I cannot build a well. Why can't I build a well? Uh, I'm confused as to why I can't build a well here. I feel like I really, I, I really feel like I should be allowed to build a well. I'm confused. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's problematic. Maybe I'll try to figure that out next term. Uh, in the meantime, let's get my transports down here so we can unload some more troops so we can take that well so we can start producing energy, because I would like some of that. And I think that is going to be uh, the end of what we need there. I am now officially negative on food. I am eating 177 points of food, and I'm only harvesting 140. So I need to build another farm. Which means I need my engineer here to head off into parts unknown. There's some exotica right there, so I'd like to build a farm or an arboretum next to that anyway. Do I not have the required resources? I... I oof. But I'm allowed to build a factory or a bio plant or a chemical... For, like, like, building a city doesn't require resources. The engineer has the resources. Um... And I don't have a missing required tech listed, so 
I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Right now, let's end the turn. House de Cados. Yes, thank you. House de Cados. Oh, hello. Uh, it's the League. The League has shown up with a destroyer and a bull caller, but no units on either, so not sure what's going on there. Am I allowed to build a well yet? No. Okay. Can't build a well there. Can I build a well there? Nope. Can't move into the ocean. Isn't there a li Oh, that's probably it. I'm probably too close to another... There's a limit to how close you can be to other cities. Um, but, I mean, I'm three... Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm too close. Maybe I need to go over here. I'll, I'll continue experimenting. We'll extend the road in any case. Uh, for now... This fort does not need so many troops in it, but some of these troops need to rest. So I will take uh, the troops that don't need rest. And we'll start moving south so that we can be picked up by the transports in a little while. Hi, right, Microfusion. Take it easy. We're going to unload our cargo. And we're going to assault this well. Oh, they've got rebels in that. Fortunately, rebels are not very powerful units. Ooh, and we captured an artillery gun. I love that. So you can actually just straight up capture units. Um, this is actually an expert artillery gun, no less. It's from the rebels, but we own it now. Uh, I think. Yeah, we own it now. So artillery guns and anti-tank guns, if they're left unattended like that, you can capture them. Uh, harvesting 29 energy. Excellent. Uh, loyalty of 75%. Uh, we can't afford to build anything because we're out of metal again. Harvesting zero points on this planet. What? Oh, the mine rebelled? Rude. How dare they? The swine. Okay, we left the mine ungarrisoned and it rebelled. That's downright unacceptable. We're going to put an infantry unit into that well to make sure that doesn't happen again. And we're off to a good start. We're just having a, a fantastic amount of success in every possible way. Uh, do I want anybody else to be doing anything? I have the spy... I don't think I necessarily need him to be taking any actions at the moment, though. Uh, but I do need this tank to be heading on over towards the shield. Alright, cool. House de Cados. Wow, the League is, like, moving. The League is doing stuff. Um, I do need some electronics. Uh, electronics are really, really important to get spies and officers, which are both important units. Uh, and I also need to... Uh, the symbiotes continue to destroy. I'm not selling you pharmaceuticals. I'm sorry. I'll sell you hospitals, though. Uh, yeah, the League like the League fleet is moving through this area. I'm not sure what's, uh, what's going on there. Okay, now I can build a well. Yes, let's do it. Let's build a well over there. Fantastic. Um, but we need more food. Can I build a farm? Harvest 40 food and 10 exotics. What if I go over here? 41 food and 10 exotics. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so we're better... Um, when you build a city, its health is low, and it slowly heals over time. Uh, so it's healing at 12% per turn, uh, which means that its production is going to slowly, slowly creep up over time. Uh, it doesn't have any units, so we're going to put some militia in each of these little cities, just to make sure they have some defense so that they don't rebel or anything else terrible happens. Uh, the League, the League, the League, the League. Do I want to buy anything? I don't really want to buy anything right now. Um, I need more metal. 
Next turn, I'll have enough metal to build another engineer. And I think once I build another engineer, I'm going to start... Uh, I think I might build another mine down here just to increase our metal production. Because metal is a super, super important resource early on. Um, I also wish I could remember what the button was for the next... Yeah, okay, so you can click that to get the next unit, but I forget what the hotkey is for that. Uh, in the meantime, though, this army... I would actually like to bring my whole fleet back together because we're going to load up our troops uh, and we're going to shift this army down over this way so we can conquer this city and see what value it can provide to the emperor. The emperor here being, of course, me. Um, I'd also really like to increase loyalty, but that requires spending money and I don't I really don't have any of that to spend. This tank can go over to the shield. Where we are going to keep our army building up. All units must be responded to. Okay. Oh, wow. The symbiotes have captured three cities on absolution in one turn. Uh, that's not good. House de Cados. Okay, uh, let's go with none for right now. Yep, one militia is fine. Okay, so the symbiote seems to be, uh, seems to be just taking all of absolution. Give me all your votes or you make me regret it. Nah. Nah. How are we on cash? Uh, cash is declining, but income is going up as we produce and capture more cities for that sweet, delicious tax revenue. Yep, let's board our transports. And we are going to go down. Let's go over there. Then we have 106 metal so we can produce another engineer. Uh, am I still negative on food? I'm still negative on food. Harvesting 155. Feeling rate right 9% per turn. Yeah, so the harvest here is going to go up, but only slowly. Go ahead and build another engineer. So we can get some, uh, some something going. One more turn, we should have all these guys healed up, and then we can move out. And we should be able to complete conquest of the planet. In fairly short order, I mean, we've got one city over there and one city down there. Once we've taken those two, we can continue expanding, and we'll have this planet pretty much sorted in relatively short order. Um, in terms of building cities, obviously there are some, some clear, like, you know, fertile, you want to build farms near, they can harvest more food near fertile ground. Exotica, you want to build farms or arboretums near energy, you want to build wells near, etc., etc. But also there's some basic standards, like wells work well next to water or rivers. Uh, mines work well in the mountains, even if there's no metal listed. Uh, farms work well in open fields. Or arboretums actually work well in, like, forested areas. Do roads increase output of buildings that aren't connected? No, I don't think... I don't think... Uh, Roads actually have anything to do with production, although it seems like, even though it seems like they should. House de Cados. Okay, House de Cados, great. Uh, we're going to continue building medium tanks, and the regent election will happen next turn. I'm not going to give you guys all my votes. Uh, however, I will contact... Alestra and say give me votes the next election. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say give me a ministry. Give me the uh it give me the Imperial Fleet 
and I'll give you my vote. Message sent. Okay, cool. Um, actually, you know what? Because I'm hooked up to this road network, I've been moving all my tanks over to um, over to this shield, but I shouldn't be doing that. I should actually be accumulating tanks at the factory so that I can use them to attack in that direction. And then this farm should be building, yeah, they're building an engineer, that's fine. This well can build uh, some artillery for me. How's this farm doing, by the way? 63%? Yep, okay. Harvest is slowly going up. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, and this farm can build me a militia. Hey, MC. Oh, yes, no, this is an incredibly complicated game. It's, like I said, it's every single planet is a civilization game in itself, and then you also have a whole kind of meta game happening as well. All right, we should be able to take them next turn, or in a turn or so. Uh, we'll just have the fleet hang out right here. Uh, how is this farm doing? 28 out of a max of 38 food. This isn't actually a great farm. Uh, every city that you build eats 10 food, and every unit eats one. Uh, you need it to build cities. Cities cost food as well. Uh, right now, like I said, we're still negative uh, by about 50 food per turn. So we may have to buy some soon. Um, it would be easier to buy stuff if we weren't also losing $300 a turn. Uh, so, to be honest, at some point I may have to just... Um, I may have to start disbanding units. Yeah, because, like, the maintenance on a tank is $35. Uh, the maintenance on a gunship is 150 Jesus. Yeah, I might have to get rid of some of my units at some point. Um, again, I forget what the hotkey is for that. Oh, it's disband. Um, like the Dragonfly, it's a really powerful unit. But I might have to get rid of it at some point. Um, let me just fly around with the Dragonfly fly real quick, see if I can spot any rare resources. We've got Exotica. Okay. Does this game turn into CIA simulator at some point? Uh, yes. 100%. Well, I mean, in the sense that, like, you have spies and shit when you're, when you're fighting on uh, Byzantium Secundus. There will definitely be, uh, there's an aspect to that. Uh, let me also take one of my nobles. And we're gonna lead the army from the factory with a noble because they will give you us an armor bonus. Because we are super, super special. I did not mean to click on the league. House de Cados. Okay. Elections for Regent. Um, I'm going to wait. Farmers finished producing militia. Okay, that's fine. Yes, I wish to build nothing. The new patriarch is orthodox. Oh, Celestra rejected my terms. Okay, that's fine. Nope. Nope. Uh, diplomacy. Byzantium the second. Uh, I need to cast my vote at some point. I asked to wait. I guess it'll do it at the end of the turn. Single player is much more what you want to make of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we are building another tank there, so that's good. So let's get this tank over there. Let's get this noble over there. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing? So we've got three tanks, an artillery, and a noble. Uh, I'm going to grab those two units and add them. So we've got an artillery and a militia. Got another artillery there. That should pretty much be a decent little army. This guy is going to go on sentry mode. That guy's on sentry mode. These guys can just wait. Uh, two more turns for the engineer to be done. How is my research going? Uh, we have 11 points left for Prana Bindu. So after that, we will start to get... We have Assassins and Tracker Legions available. I believe they both require electronics, though. So we're not going to actually be able to uh, make them 
so much. At least not right now. Uh, gunship, fly over here and see if there's anything else special. Ooh, trace minerals. I should build a mine down there. We need trace minerals for stuff. Get the army moving. Come on, people. Let's get the army moving. Oh, can we not move across? God damn it, we can't move across that river. All right. All right. We can't move the artillery across the river, which, yeah, sure, that makes sense, but still, it irritates me. All right, click on House icon to cast my votes for Regent. I'm going to vote for me. Which I'm sure nobody is going to be elected. House de Cados. Ah, my air units ran out of fuel. Yep, I, I remembered that happening. Okay, fair enough. Radabindu! Okay, so now, in the Apply Technology, I can research the Tracker Legion, which we can build in forts. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, my gunship crashed, which on the downside means that it is gone, but on the plus side means I'm not paying $150 a turn for it anymore. I'm going to start building an engineer. Uh, we have finished producing a medium tank. We don't have enough metal for anything, so we're going to build nothing. The region remains the same, i.e. nobody. Psychosocial engineering for 400 bucks. Um, I actually desperately need money, so yes. Pharmaceuticals for physics. That's not an even trade, but I'll take it for right now. Uh, how are we doing on cash? Yeah, we are almost out of cash. Uh, we're losing, we're only losing 190 per turn now. Um, do I need bull callers? Uh, boy, boy. I have one bull caller. I'm going to keep that because I will need it at some point. Uh, well, no, I have two assault landers, don't I? And the freighter. I'm actually going to disband my bull caller. I think. Yeah. Oh, I must land this unit before disbanding. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna disband my bull collar. Um because it costs me three hundred bucks and I don't have money. And I don't uh I don't need it right now. Rebuilding it at some point would be a huge pain in the ass, but like so there's a long period in the game where you can't build starships at all. That, well, oh, God, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, starships are so valuable. I don't really want to get rid of them, but I'm just paying millions and millions of dollars and getting no value at present because it's not... I can't use it to do anything. Ah, fuck. Can I? Can you guys not? Oh, it's because that guy has no move. Okay. Advance the army. Um, yeah, I'm a little torn by indecision here. Like, what? I, I need to stop losing money is my problem. Um, I do have a bunch of exotica. So, what I might do just to... I might move some Exotica over to the Agora to sell it. Um, again, since things exist in the game as physical units, if you want to sell something, you have to move them to that place. So these Exotica, I'm actually going to move to the Agora and sell. That'll be 283 exo Exotica. It'll make me some money. Uh, these units are now ready to go. Uh, I'm going to leave the militia, move these guys down to the southern coast so they can be picked up. And at the mine, uh, we're actually going to load the officer, the power legion, that and that all up into the freighter, take off, and then we can land. You can use this to transport people quickly across the map, which is very, very handy, because you can just, you know, take off and then land again in a different place. 
and unload the cargo. So the fleet now can go back to the Arboreum, and we can load these troops that we just dropped here into the transports. And then the transports can once again start moving. Do we get the chance to deal with the Suns Are Dying thing or any point? Uh, no, that's canonically a, a, a post-Emperor thing. Sell drugs to the guild? Yeah, exactly. That's what we'll do here. Okay, I think that is going to be the turn. Uh, no, I, I, I gotta get rid of something. To, to deal with this income problem that I have. Because what am I, what am I at money-wise? Yeah, so I'm going to be at 651. Well, if I can just take a couple of cities, my taxes will even out. All right, I'm not going to disband anybody yet. House de Cados. Yes, thank you, House de Cados. Okay, there's an engineer. Great. Uh, meditation for energy physics, acceptable. Psychosocial engineering for energy physics, accept. Wait. Did I just sell technology to two different people for the same thing? Am I an idiot? Am I the fool? I think I might be the fool. Or... Ooh, there's a ruin. Oh, interesting. Ruins are very, very dangerous. They can be very profitable, but they're also very dangerous. Um, ruins are, tend to be guarded by all kinds of horrible schnasties from... Uh, you know, beyond our ken. How much is this game? It's like five bucks, I think. On GOG. So, yeah, if you want it, by all means, get it. Uh, a farm. A farm, yes! That can solve all my problems at once! Oh, we've been ambushed. Fortunately, we were ambushed by a weak, shitty stack of rebels. Okay, great. So the farm is harvesting... And it's making money. Hey, we're within three points of neutral for food. And how's my income? We're now positive on income. Fantastic. Okay, great. I love it. We are officially, officially stabilized. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we take this city, and then we'll be even more positive, and it'll be fantastic. And this farm will, oh, this farm is, uh, yeah, this farm will finish healing, and it'll be getting, like, a little bit more stuff. Love it. Uh, we do want to build one more farm in order to stabilize. Did I already disband the hauler? No, we did not disband the hauler. We decided to keep it because of the sunk cost fallacy. Um, are there any more, are there any more cities anywhere that I can conquer for a quick buck? Just that one, huh? Okay. Um, what I might do is I might actually stop... Well, I I'm going to take these troops over to attack the ruins. Like, I want to do that with my power-armored soldiers. Um, because, like I said, ruins can be extremely dangerous. And then these guys... Yeah, what am I doing with these guys? I'm just going to move them to the mine. We have the... Where's the bull collar at? It is in the Arborium, I think. We're going to take off. We're going to land at the mine. Load up the Power Legion, the Wolfen, and the Smiter. We'll leave an artillery. And then take off again. So we can land them again next turn. I am going to build a Militia Legion up here just to help form the garrison. You want at least, like, one or two units in every place. Just to prevent, you know, rebellions. Other such unfortunate things. House de Cados. Yes, thank you, House de Cados. Uh, build none. Build a none. Symbiots have captured another city. Okay, House Hazat wants Prana Bindu technology. They will give us map info from a planet... And 3,000 bucks. Do flying units auto-refuel while in a city? Yes, so you have to move them back to a city every other turn. 
The flying units are really powerful, but they're limited in that way. Uh, I'm not going to sell Prana Bindu for right now. Uh, map info from Byzantium? No. I don't have any reason to do that. Click on Hex to land. Uh, actually, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swap these units into my Assault Landers. And then... Then I'm going to land them, because I can land them right there without having to have a, uh, without needing a place, like a place to land. This army, let's get down here. So next turn we will take that farm. That will be fantastic. That will put me positive on food as well as positive on money. We will be officially stabilized, and I can actually... Okay, so here's a question. Here's just a curiosity. So my loyalty right now is 75%. If I lower taxes by, like, one notch... Okay, that would increase loyalty to 75%. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not going to do that, though. I Also, I love the... The applause and booing when you change settings like that just really tickles me pink. Uh, these units, yeah, I don't want to... I'm worried they might have more, like, they have one anti-tank gun in there. And I'm worried about them having more units, so I do want to wait. Um, this guy, what could you build here? A bio, ooh, a bio plant. I have the materials. No, no, I don't. I need a chemical plant. Let's see, 10 energy and 5 trace to produce chemicals. How am I on trace? I'm only harvesting one point of trace. I'm harvesting energy well. But I need another mine. Build an engineer up here. And I'm going to build a mine down on this side so I can get those trace elements and metals from the, uh, from the mountains. You, sir. I need you to land your troops. Um, actually right here so they can get onto the road, I think. Yeah. And then you guys go back down here, I guess. By the farm. We will leave an artillery as garrison. And let's move south. Ooh, a ruins. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try attacking the ruins. Oh my god, what are those? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, um, so, yeah, boof. that ruin. So, just in case you don't know what these units are, this is a hover tank. So, this is an advanced flying armor unit. Uh, this is like a plasma ground to orbit gun. It's another, these are all very, very high tech, very powerful units that absolutely kick the shit out of what I have. Um, so, one of my nobles is now dead. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem. And that's why Rumans are really dangerous. Oh, yeah, they've got genetic warrior legions. Look at these fucking guys. They've got a Mison cannon. They've got a hover tank killer and a marauder legion. These guys can fly into space. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're bad. They're bad. Can I shoot them from space? Well, not while they have a fucking Mison cannon. Like, that would be a terrible idea. Uh, oh, woof, okay. Yeah, um, uh, genetic warrior legions are very, very dangerous. Uh, as you can probably see from the resources, they take a bunch of biochems, electronics, and, uh, monopoles. Uh, marauder legions are, like, one of the fucking end game units, literally.
who are they to get all this stuff? They're the rebels, man. They that's what they do. They they, they this is the power with which they rebelled. Um, uh, okay. Oof. I hurt. Uh I'm gonna take this army and capture this farm. Done. Perfect. I'm gonna put a tank in this farm for the moment. Can we surrender to their demands to get their tech? Well, planet belongs to them now. You right. Like, you're not... That's all kind of a joke, but not really. It pretty much does. Uh, Alright, how much... Hold on. What do I need to start building aircraft? Oh, I need electronics. Ah, shit, that's gonna be a while. Yeah, the... Oof. Oh, baby. Um, so, nothing in this stack has very good air attack. So, like, the, gen the genetic warrior legions do have some air combat, but it's not great, so... I could potentially... The hover tank killer does have an air attack, but if I could build up some aircraft, I could potentially overwhelm them. Uh, for that, I need an electronics uh, factory, and I don't have one yet. But I've got some, uh, I've got some engineers on the way. Uh, yikes, bro. That was, that was just... That was bad. Yeah, so that's why ruins are dangerous. That's why I wasn't going to attack this ruin. Um, what do I... So, how am I on food now? Hold on. So, I'm, I'm up by about 30 points on food. Um, my income is good, because all my units fucking died. Um, I need... I need electronics. I also need chemicals and biochems if I want to go down kind of that, that route. Um... An Ar the, the tech to get Arboreums could be good, because they're more efficient than farms. I believe, if I recall correctly, you can actually convert farms into Arboreums. Um, but right now, what I need is I need more farms, and I need more uh, trace minerals. So this mine needs to finish that engineer, but it'll be four turns before they do that. For right now, let's just buy some trace metals, I think, from the Agora. Amount seven. Oh, that's all that I have the money for. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't have any cash. Uh, why don't you just... Construct some roads north and kind of see what we can find. We've got a tank in there. The rest of this army should just back up a step. And uh, we'll try we'll try these ruins. We'll scout them with a unit of militia to see what's in there. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of make a decision. A noble from House Dakados has been assassinated. Who? Who was assassinated? One, two, three. Four. Oh, no, it's just reporting that my guy died. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't assassinated, but did die. Uh, so, this militia is going to go down to that farm to keep order. You rejoin that army. You, sir, you are going to be sacrificed to the ruins. Okay, what do they got? They have a dreadnought? What? There's a dreadnought and an artillery gun in the... I mean, okay, all right. Here we go.
Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, this isn't good. Okay. Oh, we've almost got them. They've got one damaged mega tank. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Uh, that's another of my nobles dead. Uh, uh. Oh, that would be so valuable. I don't have more forces. I've got an engineer. Engineers are not good. These guys are going to take how long to get there? Uh, without the artillery, we can get there in, in a couple of turns. Maybe don't send a noble in? No, sending nobles in is really valuable. Nobles are good. But the noble, especially if you're a battle master, you want to send nobles in. That's kind of the, the thing that gets you, right? Like, you want to send the nobles in, but at the same time, losing the nobles hurts a lot. Uh, yeah, I can bombard it. With my, uh, with my cruiser. Uh, I actually forget what the bombard attack. There it is, attack. Okay, I killed the tank. So I think now, I think I can just walk in, right? <laughs> yes, yes. The dreadnought is mine! Yeah, so for some reason, I guess spacecraft just don't... Yeah, because it doesn't have any ground attacks. It only has uh, space attacks. Can't shoot when it's landed. Okay. Well, that was good. Now, let me just walk in here. Hold on. Two lost heavy tank killers have pledged fealty. We found the holy relic of St. Riold's scales. Okay, so this shit is why... This shit is why ruins are worthwhile, even though they're so incredibly deadly, okay? So now I've got this thing, which gives me a tithe collection bonus, and also I have two heavy tank killers, which I cannot create, and are incredibly powerful units. They have elite experience, um, an incredibly high direct attack. Now, here's the downside. The downside is um, I'm now paying more money than I'm making again, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, how much does that Dreadnought cost me? Ah, hmm, a thousand maintenance. Wait, what? A thousand maintenance? Somehow I don't think I'm paying a thousand. I don't, I, a uh, little, a little confused by that. Oh, no, I guess I am, aren't I? Because my, wait, both of these numbers seem higher. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to assume that it'll be fine. I did lose, oh, you're right, I did lose a lot of guys beforehand. The tanks cost a mere 80 in maintenance. Um, I don't know what the Tithe Collection Bonus does, to be honest. But I'm going to assume that it's good. Uh, so these these units, we're going to just kind of move on down the road. How much does the Relic boost my income? I have no idea. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to send it to the palace. Since I've not researched theurgy. Oh, you're right. Okay. Well, fair enough. Okay. Well, uh, good. Good. Good going, team. Uh, we have successfully. Uh, for oh fuck. 
the meson can is wait what why are they sending their meson cannon by itself what hold on a second um I'm confused about the advance of this Mizon cannon. I mean, they're going to go take my farm, obviously, and there's nothing that I can do to prevent that. But did they not leave anybody in there? Hold on. I got to try something. I think they're still wait okay so as i recall the the ground to space the ground to space attack has a radius i think i'm not gonna bombard anything uh however i do have a i do have a bomber that i can move down to the farm It has a really, really high direct attack. And the Mizon Cannon does not have 84 points of armor. Jesus Christ. I wonder if my strategic bomber can kill it. Okay, I think I can't... Yeah, it has no air attack, so I think I can just attack it. No, never mind. I, I couldn't just attack it. Oh, no, their whole stack is here. Their noble is with them. Okay, yeah, they're just advancing to destroy me. Yeah, no, they're... Okay, my scout, my spotting is poor. I can't see all their units, but they've all... I've activated the ruins, and so they're all advancing to take my farm. Now, the plus side is, I think they can't cross the water. Um, I think they can't cross the water. Knock on wood. If the rebels come over here and cross the water and take my votes and elect themselves emperor, that would honestly be the best possible result of this whole situation. Um, I could build another farm down here to replace the farm that I'm about to lose, so I'm going to do that. Yes, that's good. Uh, I'm going to just move the fleet. The destroyers have decent combat, but I'm just going to move the fleet away a little bit. Since they've left the ruins, I can march in there potentially. Yeah. Um, I need to get my, my troops into cities so that I can drop my assault landers to pick them up. Um, we can pick up these, these heavy tank killers. And with the heavy tank killers, with an officer, my power armor, and some artillery, we could potentially try to fight them. But I don't, I don't know, bro. Like, I just, I just don't know about the whole situation. Um... I'm thinking probably a couple more tanks are justified here. Although they take two turns. Yeah, well most things take two turns to build. Yeah, let me let me let me start building a couple more tanks. Assault landers can land. Yeah, I know I know assault landers can land anywhere. But I just want to be able to pick up my troops and shift them around a little bit. Um, and let's get, a, let's get an anti-tank gun going on as well. Okay, great. House de Cados. Yes, House de Cados. Great, wonderful. Okay, I've built an engineer. A noble from House de Cados has been killed, and we were assaulted and murdered. You want pharmaceuticals for money? No. Never. I will never give you pharmaceuticals. Okay, yeah, they've got their hover tank killer here. At least one. I think it's their whole army. 
do the rebels just lose if you take all the ruins? Now the rebels aren't a real faction. They're just kind of, you know, they operate based on vibes. Uh, you become a sentry there. You become a sentry there. You, Mr. Engineer, should... I've got some mountains down here. So I think I'm going to... I'm just going to expand the road network a little bit. How many more turns do I have to this engineer? Two more turns? Okay. You go into this farm. You go into this farm. You also go into that farm. And let's land there. Okay. Power Legion officer. Uh, let's actually get the heavy tanks loaded up in there. And then smiter and artillery and artillery and one of the militia. And off into space we go. And then now I wonder the meson cannon is there. Could I? It has a ranged space attack of six slash sixty, and it has eighty four armor. I have a dreadnought. The dreadnought has ninety four armor and a range space of four ninety. The cruiser has 78 armor and a range space of 480. I wonder if those two can successfully bomb out that cannon. But I think the cannon just does too much damage. As I recall, planet-to-space weapons are just incredibly powerful compared to your ships. I remember them doing just a, a ton of damage. Like, more damage than seems reasonable. So I think... I think I can't just bombard them. I think what I need to do is I need to land my troops. In my own fort and then transfer them over with the water transports. So let me drop an artillery and that guy. Let me get all these guys into the transports. Yeah, I think my strategy here is going to be I need to go over here, unload, go back, pick up more troops from the fort. Um, I'm not going to send any nobles this time because... I'm concerned that they will simply die. You, I'm going to send to my church. I seem to vaguely recall that having uh, something in the church is valuable. Uh, the factory is still building stuff. My spy has a really, really high level close attack and a very, very high camo rating. So as I recall, spies can be useful to have in a stack. They also have a very high spot, so they can see enemy units. Um, and then beyond that... What am I still doing on food? I'm still doing okay on food. Um... What else? I don't really want to build any more units because I want to focus on churning out some more engineers. All right, let's end the turn. House de Cados. Okay, finish producing a medium tank. Let's get a tank killer going. Anti-tank gun. Uh, let's go with none. Okay, I'll trade map info. That's fine. And let's get a uh, still doing okay on food, but I could always use another farm. 
farms are never bad. Get another engineer going over here. Hey, Footlock, what's going on? Nothing more dangerous than a rebel without a cause and super soldiers in a meson cannon. Exactly. This guy gets it. Okay, and guys go back up to the fort. Uh, let me get a hold on. My spacecraft are still in the fort. Get you guys taken off. You land at the factory. Get the Wolfen and the artillery. Take off again. So here's one funny thing you can do in this game. I've actually done it once, uh, so you guys may have seen it already, but um, because you're allowed to transfer things between transports without using any movement, if you set up trans a chain of transports, you can move a guy across the map, like across the space map in one turn if you have enough transports. Or, as in this case, you can simply transfer from an assault lander to a bulk freighter and have the bulk freighter land somewhere and unload him, and it's like, fine. Uh, I accidentally landed my, like, war spacecraft as well, so I didn't really need to do that, but that's just the way life goes sometimes. Let's, let's board the transport and get those units down over here, and we will unload them, and there we are. Great. And we cannot move because we are too slow, because we are in the jungle, and the jungle takes a lot of movement points. The Space Pony Express, exactly. Okay, I think with these units, I think we can take out what I saw that they had. Um, the, the problem will be the, the Marauder Legion. I mean, they're all going to be a problem. All of those units are fucking problematic to fight. But I think we potentially can take them. Uh, with enough, enough power. Can we burn down the jungle? No, but we can build roads and stuff through it. House de Cados. Thank you for saying my name like that. Always a pleasure. Now, can I build a... I'm too close to build a mine. There was four metal and three trace. What could I build here? Okay, so that would harvest a reasonable amount of metal. Um, I would definitely like another lab at some point. But for right now, it's just I need tree. I gotta have trace elements. So you, sir. You are gonna be just a road-building fiend. Just a fool for roads. Um, if we can get... I think we need to get down to here or here before I can build another mine. Uh, and in a couple turns, I should be able to do that. Unit spotted. Unit spot. Okay, there's the meson cannon. We're going to unify this into one huge blob of units. And move them all as a body. Need to be four tiles between each harvester? Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. A new game? Well, I'm not sure I would call it a new game. It's a... It's a game from 1997. Uh, I'm gonna sell some energy, because I'm really not using it yet. And selling resources to the League is just a great way to make some money in the early game here. Yeah, you guys all sentry up. You guys all sentry up, that's fine. You guys sentry up. You sentry up. Alright, cool. House Decados. Thank you for calling my name. Couple more tank killers. Want psychosocial engineering for six hundred bucks? Nah. Um, the league. Can I? No. Can I? I could borrow money from the League, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, the Church, they can prescribe or unprescribe technology, which can be very handy. 
Um, as you can see here, my flock... Huh, interesting. I actually have more Orthodox people than anybody else, I guess. Really? Hold on. Are my like are like are my ships orthodox or something? No, all my ships are eschatonics. Are you orthodox? No, you're an eschatonic. Okay, I'm not sure why that is, but all right. Ooh, metal. Hold on. Oh, I need to go one more step before I can build a mine. Okay. Get our big ol' army moving south. I can still only see the Mison cannon. But I think we'll be able to take them out. Is that from Byzantium the second? Hold on. Ah, yes, my my units over here are orthodox. I've never quite understood that. Like, a bunch of the units over here, including my noble, is actually uh, orthodox as well. Which is just funny. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I desperately need to get some electronics going. But I just can't do that yet. Okay, medium tank. Let's transfer him. And land. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can't land within. I cannot land within range of the the doom. House de Cados. Okay, we've successfully researched the Tracker Legion, which is great. Now we can research uh, Composite Armor Mega Chassis, which is kind of cool. Uh, Electron Microscopes unlocks a bunch of later tech that you really need, but I don't think it's what we need right now. Right now, uh, Composite Armor is a good one. Uh, Psychosonic Manipulation could be interesting, albeit it's expensive. Theurgy could be interesting, albeit it's expensive. This unlocks uh, a bunch of other stuff. I forget what exactly. I'm going to go with Composite Armor for the moment. That will let me build basic infantry instead of militia at my forts, uh, which are much, much better. It will also start unlocking tanks and stuff. Let's go with Composite Armor. Uh, the Symbiotes have captured a city on nowhere. Oh, no. The Symbiotes are expanding. Uh, no, I'm not giving you... Okay, I'll trade tech for you. I'm not giving you my votes, though. Okay, let's build a mine. That will start producing more metal. And now... Grab this whole army. What do they got in that farm? Is it really just the Mison Cannon? I mean, I've got the Spy with... Oh, well, he only has Spot... I mean, he's got Spot 9. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try it. Uh, all right. Cross your fingers, folks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that did not go well. Um, They have another... Okay. So, couple of problems here. First of all, those Gen Shock Le those Genetic Shock Legions are just so incredibly tough. Um, secondly, they have a super advanced unit of artillery here. Um, 
So, and thirdly, they have a noble that we still haven't even seen. So just looking at the, the way their unit cards are aligned, there's a unit right here that we haven't seen, and there's a unit right here that we haven't seen. One of them has to be a noble. The other one, I don't know what it is, but we haven't even spotted it. So at this point, we didn't kill any of their units. Um, I was hoping, really hoping we could kill that tank. I think they had two of those tanks, so I think these two units are a noble and another hover tank. Um, I think at this point we abandoned the continent. Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Now, they're not gonna come after us because they're rebels, and they don't really do, they don't cross the ocean. They don't have any ability to do that. But, uh, this is just, woof. That's the whole army gone. Uh, we're now making money again, but that's, yeah, that's the whole army gone. Um, did we just get super fucked? Well, okay, so here's the interesting thing, right? Um, we are on our own planet. And nobody else is on this planet. And nobody else has a map. Like, nobody else can see what we're doing. So, on the one hand, yes, we've lost all of our army and advanced units, except for the ones on Byzantium II. But on the other hand, like, we're not in danger. No one is going to attack us over this. Um, no one really has the ability or the information necessary to launch an attack on us. So, despite losing all our guys to rebels, like a noob, um, we can just stay here. We're not in danger. We're not threatened. Um, we can just stay here and keep building up and expanding. And it'll be fine. Um, like right now, I'm actually going to build another engineer down over here. We're producing more metal. We're good on food. Um, we're making money. So we can just... Yeah, we can just kind of chill out and build up uh research technology will build a la another lab at some point soon and carry on like that until we decide we are uh prepared okay so a mine there would harvest nine metal and 22 trace what about here 10 metal and 23 trace yeah so we're going to produce a mine Uh, yeah, we can't effectively bombard that uh, that position, unfortunately. But we can just, you know, just hang out for a little while. We're now actually producing some trace metals. Uh, as, we, as our mines heal up, that will uh, expand a little bit. So we'll be, able, we'll be producing enough trace minerals to set up uh, an electronics factory. Uh, and then with electronics, we can start building kind of mid-tier units. Uh, and in fact, what we might do is, because that's so dangerous and impossible to take, we might just leave that be, and instead we might recruit an army and go to another planet and try to take part of another planet. Because, like, this area right up here, this is probably super profitable, and it probably does not have defenses that are anything like as dangerous as those rebel units from the ruin. So going to Kadavas with an army of like regular guys, eh, that might be that might be what we do. That might be the next thing we do. House de Cados. Yes, thank you, House de Cados. I will vote for myself for regent. My farm has finished producing an engineer. Go ahead and build none. Finished building a tank killer. Get me a medium tank. Aha! The Patriarch has deemed plague bombs odious to humanity. I mean, that's fair. Uh, the symbiotes continue to rampage on nowhere. The new Patriarch is orthodox. Genetics for electron microscopes? Deal. No, no. All right. Um... What can you do for me? These are actually kind of badly placed. I shouldn't have done this. One, two, three, four. I should have built this farm one step further in. And three, four. 
Yeah, I should have built this farm like here, and then I might have been able to eke out one more. As it is, I don't think I can build... I could maybe build something right out there. But what I think I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to build a lab. What happens when the symbiotes just spread a lot? Um, Then you have symbiotes everywhere, and they're terrible. And they do a lot of damage, and you hate them. Uh, I'm going to put this lab down here by my factory, so I have kind of like a centralized area. Uh, let me sell this energy to the Agora. Boom. That gave me a couple thousand bucks. I love that. And I'm going to keep gathering my tanks up over there. This guy can take off. Um, yeah, the, the, the continent down there is just lost to us, unfortunately. Um, we are building an engineer... Two, three, four. To try to go, like, right over here, maybe. Like, maybe I can build a well in the water to take that, tap that energy. Because that would be nice. We're still positive on food. Could my advanced tank destroyers help with the rebel armor? Yes, it would help. The tank destroyers certainly do help, but they're not good enough to actually win. Now, okay, so here's... Here's our another interesting option. We now have Tracker Legions available. Tracker Legions um, cost about the same as Militia, but they are way more powerful. Um, they have, like, the same armor, so they're no less flimsy, but they have much higher camo, higher agility, which means they can dodge shots, literally, much higher spotting, and a, an incredibly better close attack, plus a weak air attack. So tracker legions are really, really good. Like this is a this is a big, big upgrade over militia. Unfortunately, they can only be recruited in forts. Um, but I mean, like their maintenance cost is the same. There's just really no reason to not build them. So we're gonna start building tracker legions really, really quickly. Uh, you need to actually explore hexes to reveal resources. Correct. You need to have actual vision on uh, hexes in order to see resources. Uh, do trackers become your base infantry? Well, so the infantry legion, which is the next step, a direct step up from militia, um, the infantry legion is fine. Like, they have a, a better air attack than trackers do. It's 330 for, as opposed to 310. They have a weak direct attack, which is kind of nice, which means they can compete a little bit with tanks. And their close attack is fairly accurate. Um, they also have more armor. So Tracker Legions have only 5 armor. Uh, Infantry Legions have 15. So they're, like, in direct combat, Infantry Legions are good for different reasons. Um, they do cost the same maintenance as Militia, uh, but they cost slightly more metal to produce, but in either case, it's not enough to be a big concern. So I would say Trackers and Infantry are both fine, basically. But they're both massively superior to Militia. Militia are genuinely trash. Like, there's realistically the only reason you ever produce Militia is just to have somebody to stand on a city that you never expect to be invaded um, to provide, like, police action, essentially. Um, I would definitely like... Yeah, wow, they really nerfed artillery, didn't they? Artillery has accuracy of 2. It used to be, like, accuracy... I think it used to be accuracy 3, strength 70. Um, Anti-tank guns still have accuracy 5, which is quite good, so I guess you just stick with those. I don't want to build one, though, because I want to save up my metal and get uh, yet more engineers going. To be fair, the militia looks just like a guy with a shotgun. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why they're bad. Um, I would like probably more forts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and build a tracker legion up here as well, just so I can have more of them kind of spread around. More recruitment is better, for sure. House de Cados. Okay, tracker legion, keep building tracker legions. Yep, keep building tracker legions. Um, mine is finished producing an artillery. That's fine. Um... Yeah, let's get another engineer going. Genetics for 1500, except... Except 
The old, oh yeah, no, like I said, the old, before the patch, artillery and anti-tank guns were literally the most powerful units in the game. Because they cost almost nothing to build, almost nothing to maintain, and their attacks were, like, very comparable to advanced units. Uh, I am going to build a second lab. Or, ooh, electronics. Oh, lab or electronics. Lab or le How's my trace production? Okay, I'm producing 10 trace. I'm harvesting 90 points of metal. That's 64 points of energy coming in. Oof. I do have some stuff that requires electronics already unlocked. So, like, the ability to build gunships. Yeah, I'm going to go with electronics first. Okay, fantastic. And we're going to build a militia. Yes. Uh, the patch came out in December of 2022, so like a year and a half ago now. But yeah, it was like literally like 25 years later. Wow, that's impre incredible. Um, oh, also, the other thing that makes Tracker Legions incredibly more useful than Militia, they have moved 10. So they move faster than most armored units, which means that for the purposes of like attacking another planet, uh, trackers can be extremely, extremely good. Now. Here's their biggest limitation. The very biggest limitation of trackers is that they don't have a direct attack. So I, I, I've mentioned that there's a bunch of these different attack types and they happen at different times. Basically, they go in order and close is one of the last attack types. Um, a unit that doesn't have a close... So close attacks are... They go last in the order. They are most effective versus infantry. Direct attacks come before them. They're most effective against armored units, and then indirect attacks come before them. Uh, and then even before them, there's like the air attacks. Um, if you don't have an air attack, you can't attack flying units at all. So their order is affected, is like less important. But basically, when it comes to land units, um, the three attack types that matter are indirect, direct, and close for, you know, ground versus ground. So what this means is tracker legions are good, but their close attack happens last in order. So if they're fighting against artillery and tanks, units that have direct and indirect attacks, um, they can be shot before they can use their close attack. Specific, I believe close can only attack infantry. I don't believe that's true. I believe close attacks can be used on any ground unit, but they're just not as good. Um, so, basically, what I'm saying here is, uh, Tracker Legions are very fast, and they're much better than Militia, but they're not very good at fighting tanks. Uh, so there's, it's a very, it's kind of a very complex set of interactions that govern combat in this game. Uh, it's very interesting, and it means that you have a strong incentive to build a diversified force uh, for most of the game. Uh, the The exception is when you have uh, when you have power power legions. Um, power legions fuck up everybody. So power armor fucks up everybody. Um, the marauder legions, marauder legions fuck up everybody. Uh, the it's also the reason why the tanks are good, like the medium, medium tanks. Do I actually have one? Like the tank killer has a very high direct. Actually, no. I think I, I think Jack Lore might be right. It might be that close attacks just don't work on armored units. Um, they work on artillery though. But like the this tank killer here, um, I think close attacks might not work on it at all, but direct attacks do. Anyway. So there's a bunch of different attack types. Um, they're good at fighting different kinds of units. They There is no single attack type that does everything. And so you have to have a mix of units or your unit composition will just get hard countered and will be destroyed without ever inflicting casualties. Oh, okay, now I can see the units. Yeah, okay, they have a fucking Blade Master in this stack. So 
the Blade Master has one of the most powerful close attacks in the game. Incredibly high agility and, like, maximum side defense. Um, they have an assault gun that has an incredibly powerful direct and indirect and direct attack. They've got the Gen Warrior Legions. So, the Genetic Warrior Legions, um, tanks can fight them, but they destroy any infantry 100% of the time. Uh, what does a guy with a sword do against cannons and machine guns? He's psychic. He's he's a he's a psychic. He's a Jedi. That's that's what he is. It's it's a Jedi and his like elite space marines. Uh, and the Marauder Legions. The Marauder Legions have the close space attack and the close attack. So uh, see, okay. So here's the thing. I'm pretty sure that close attacks can be used against tanks to some degree because i have sent in marauder legions against tanks and had them win so there's some degree to which this works but um yeah it's just very it's just very very bad uh does that make psi units bad uh it means that you psi attacks go at the very end so if you have psi units you have to like protect them but they do a million damage because most people don't have a very high side defense. Um, like, you know, most of the time they just don't have a super high side defense. Anyway, so this is just an incredibly powerful army uh, in general. It's got this this nice mix of units. It's got the eagle with the high direct attack. It's got the assault gun, the blade master and the Gen Warrior Legions mulch any infantry that approaches them or looks at them funny. The, the Marauder Legion can actually fight spacecraft. The Mison Cannon means that you can't bombard it. I, this is just a very, very deadly, like, endgame stack. Uh, which is why we can't do anything about it, and they're just gonna have to live, they just live there forever. Actually, they've left the ruins totally unguarded. They have, mm, okay, um, okay, I'm going to try what's called a pro gamer move. I'm going to attempt to sneak one tracker legion. I'm going to sneak one tracker legion into the ruins to steal whatever's there. I'm pretty sure this is the whole army. I'm pretty sure. But if not, then I only lose one tracker legion, and that's okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I think I'm, close attacks can hit tanks, but they're not as good as direct attacks in some way. I forget what exactly the distinction is. But they can do it. Electronics has finished producing militia. Okay, that's fine. Factory is finished producing a medium tank. Build another one. Continue to build trackers. We're gonna we're gonna keep spamming trackers because they're good. Can we name the tracker legion? Uh no, I can't rename I'm sorry, I can't rename units. I apologize. Ooh, Exotica. Sounds like some suave spy shenanigans. That engineer should be done in one turn. Over here we have an engineer that should be done in... How many turns is that? I can barely see. Three turns. Still producing 3 out of 10 electronics, but that does mean we actually have some electronics now, which means if we wanted to, we could... Uh, next turn, we could start building a gunship. And gunships cover a multitude of sins. So, um, as we, we were talking about air units before, the advantage of air units is they do a shit ton of damage. They fight really, really well, and many units can't attack them. The up the downside of air units is they have to be in a friendly city every couple of turns or they just fucking die. 
Uh, so gunships, especially with that direct 6 slash 90, incredible attack assault units, but you can only really bring them in after you've already, like, conquered a city on a planet, or they just die. Uh, you become a sentry. You trackers uh, go to... Oh, uh, yeah, just go down to the southern mine. Look how fast they are. They're so fast. I love them. Love them so much. We'll send them running around to, to search for things. House de Cados. Okay, ah, research of composite armor has been completed. Great. Okay, so now, now I can research a whole bunch of applied technology. We can get star bases, which are kind of cool. We can get special forces which can be built in forts. We can get infantry legions, which are just a basic bog standard infantry unit. Um, we can get space fighters, which I don't think are actually super, super good, but they're kind of neat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and research infantry legion. It's a little bit cheaper and I think could be potentially useful. Uh, yes, keep building tracker legions just forever. Um, I don't need an engineer down here. Meditation for Mega Chassis? Uh, I'll take that. Genetics for Mega Chassis? Nope, sorry, I already got it. Don't need it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here we go, boys. da 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 Hey, Fractal Metaphysics! Nice, bro. Oh my god, they have gems down here, and there's another Ruins? There are no mobile refilling stations or air-based refuel options. Um, I think you can land them on a transport, and that also works. Um, hold on. Where can I see the my databanks? Archives, there it is. Uh, microbiology, nope, not that one. Physics. What is it that I just got? I just broke into a Jedi's house and stole his computer? Yes, that's that's what I just did, literally. Um, fractal Metaphysics. Okay, so I, I got that, I guess. That's cool. Um, I'm going to send this guy into the ruins to die just to see what he gets. Just to see what's there. Because if we can, like, if I could just kind of bust in there and wake those guys up and have them not immediately murder me, then it's like, okay, I mean, we could just, maybe we just get to search it again. Landing inside a transport will let you stay afloat. Did it open up any applied sciences? Um, I don't think so. Let me see. Heck. Applied technology... Um, I think some of these physics were new. Cyber robotics, I think, is new. Um, I would really like another lab as well. Uh, this guy, however... I'm gonna get a transport over there. Move him. Yes, board the transport. And then the transport is going to go over there. Tracker Legion, go down to that mine. These two, let's actually just take one. And as you can see, the trackers even have a larger vision cone than, uh, than other units. Uh, let's go ahead and build an engineer up there. We have some exotica, so we can build a farm up in that direction. Uh, you, sir, I think we've seen pretty much everything there is to see down there, so yeah, you just go into the mine, uh, and you're going to wait on the shore, so actually no, just wait in the mine until we pick you up. Metaphysics is sociology, lets you get theurgy, oh, I think I already had that then, well that's a shame. Alright, but yeah, we continue with the tracker legions, the factory is continuing to build tanks. Uh, we will get a gunship or two with that as well. Great. We are rolling. House de Cados. Uh, yeah, let's get a gunship going. 
Fort has finished producing a tracker legion. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Give me mega chassis. No, never. You guys go back up there. Uh, yeah, what's in those rooms? Let's faint. Okay. Uh, these ruins are a lot less dangerous. They've got... Okay, so hold on a second. I think we can take those ruins. They've got what? Okay, so they've got a self-propelled anti-air. They've got a strategic bomber, which is an air unit, so that's a little bit dangerous. They've got two nobles, a tank killer, and a flak gun. We can take them. Like, that's, that's doable. I'm going to build another well right there. And put some militia in it. Excellent. Okay, so we're producing even more energy. GC loses another stack. <laughs> Shh. That's rude. How dare you say that to me? I would never do such a thing, he says, confidently, yet incorrectly. All right, so I've got four tracker legions up here, and down here I've got three tracker legions and two tanks. My total space carry is 4, 8, 10. So, what I want to do here is I want to land. Let's get a couple of tanks, a couple of trackers, then them to space. You, sir, land there. We're going to get four trackers loaded up in you and take off. And then you've got one tracker and one tank coming. So you, sir, are going to land in the fort. We're going to put the tracker in you, and then we'll put a tank in you. And then uh, we are going to... Uh, launch to Cadavis, and we're going to try to conquer this little area. We'll see how it goes. It should be fun. Um, am I negative on food? I'm negative on food again. Fuck. Why am I negative on food? How dare you, sir. After all the farms I've built... Is Cadavis owned by anyone currently? No, it is a neutral planet. Um, you can see because the planets that are owned have colors. So like Aragon is the home of the Hawkwood family. Uh, Leagueheim is where the League is based. Um, Vow is where the aliens are, the Vow. Um, I can actually, so here's the thing. You can sell maps to the Vow. Um, and they'll pay you money for it. Um, I got a map of, what's the planet that I was given a map of? Oh, I forgot. I think it was Pentateuch. Yeah, 158 Firebirds for that. Um, I'll sell you the map of my own home planet. That's fine. I'm sure there's no bad consequences to that. I'm sure there'll, there'll never be a problem with me selling the map of my own actual homeworld to an alien species. Right, you take off. Okay, let's end the turn. House de Cados. Okay, still producing tracker legions. That is absolutely fine. Do it to it. Uh, finished producing an engineer, have you? Okay. Finished producing a militia. I will not give you composite armor technology. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Why do they want the maps? I don't know. Why do you think they might want the maps? Okay. So now, 
our transports, guarded by our dreadnought, are going to go to Kadavs. And then we will begin to land. Perfect. Okay, so we, this is a decent little, like, army. We've got some tanks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trackers. We've got uh, medium tanks, a couple medium tanks, and one tank killer. So we've got mostly close attack, but we've also got a decent amount of direct, a little bit of air. Um, what we're probably going to do is we're going to land troops. Um... I'm actually going to stop building trackers for the moment. Uh, I'm going to get some... Hmm. Uh, I don't feel like artillery is that good. I'm going to start getting a few... Well, no, I'm going to stick with tracker legions, to be honest. How's that uh, gunship coming? One turn on gunship? Okay, cool. I might be able to sneak in here and take out that ruin. If I land over here with a bunch of trackers and just dive for the ruin, I might be able to take it out. That would be pretty, pretty cash money if so. Actually, I don't know why I'm moving these guys. They can be picked up from space over there just as well as anywhere else. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four. Let's go over here with the engineers. And yeah, let's start pulling up a, a little force for uh, a read on another ruin. Uh, yes, this was a pen and paper RPG before it was a, a computer game. Uh, let's get some... I don't really feel like getting slow units. But that's fine. House de Cados. Okay, factory's finished producing gunship. Let's get uh, another medium tank. More tracker legions. More tracker legions. Now... We're going to get the Assault Landers down. We can make two landings. Um, they might have planet the space defenses here. They do. Okay. So they have... This is a full-on plant. Yeah, they've got a starport here. They have a chemical factory, a shield, and a church. Uh, oh, an eschatonic clergy. Fantastic. I love that. So, uh, the starport is where their planet to space cannon is. Um, I am going to take these guys back up into space. We're going to transfer uh, tank and tracker. And tracker. And tracker. Okay, so we got two units there. We got two units there. Okay, good. And then we are going to land again and unload the troops. And then we're going to take these troops. Ah, there's two planet to space cannons over there. And they've got infantry, flak, which are not that good. They've got a couple anti-tank guns. So I have five trackers, two tanks, and an anti-tank, a tank killer. I think I might be able to take their shield. I'm going to go for it. Spotted. Um, no, they got four infantry in there. Okay, we probably can't take their shield just yet, but we can take the church. Yeah, there we go. We took the church with no actual casualties. And my clergy now. Excellent. 
Uh, you, sir, go capture that artillery gun. Great, grab that. Okay, cool. So now we own the the planet's church, which is kind of cool. And we can start building anti-tank guns here. Big fan of all the buildings being labeled. I agree. Very nice. Uh, there's also a factory over here. You can change the planetary sect with the church. I could. Uh, but the planetary sect is already eschatonic, which is perfect for me because I am eschatonic. So now I can actually look at the, if I look at the church, um, it still says I am more orthodox than eschatonics, which is interesting, but I don't know what to say about that. I, full disclosure, I don't particularly know how all this operates. In the original game, this was just busted. Like, the church as a whole didn't really function. Um, like, the Inquisition would often get totally jammed in orbit of Byzantium Secundus for some reason and never leave. So you could research anything and the Inquisition never burned your labs. And the whole sect mechanic didn't really operate. Now it does operate, at least in theory. And it's kind of, like, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it works. Like, it says I have more flock in the Orthodox than in the Eschatonics. Should I change to be Orthodox? I actually literally don't know. Um, but, who knows? Um, so that shield, yeah, so they've got four infantry. Two planet-to-space guns. Those are pretty much unimportant. The artillery, I don't think I can take them. I think I have to wait. Is that even your flock or the church in general? I believe that's my flock specifically. Um, I am now, unfortunately, short on food, but there is a fertile patch over there. So if I could just build... I can get a farm over there, because none of these are actually produ like production. So if I could just get a farm, one, two, three, four, and then like a farm over here, that would be great. Okay, but cool. Yeah, now I can take the planetary shield pretty soon. Um, if I look into space, I have two more trackers ready to go. If you put a spy on Holy Terry, you get to know all the flocks. Where are all these crypto-Orthodox dudes? Oh, so the crypt the Orthodox dudes are on Byzantium Secundus. A bunch of my garrison in here are Orthodox. Um, so, I don't know how that adds up to more than, than the Eschatonics, but it does. Uh, and yeah, then there is... Uh, Holy Terra is the homeland of, like, the church owns this whole planet. And they have a huge fleet in orbit, and this is where the Inquisition launches from. Okay, uh, I've got a gunship, so that's great. I love having gunships. We're going to take the gunship over there. This guy can start building roads down that way. Mine is doing good harvesting metal. Yeah, like this guy, you can just go back to the fort. We can, we can pick him up with space travel from the fort. Um, I am going to take, in fact, I'm going to take my bulk freighter. I'm actually going to transfer those trackers to the other transport. And my bulk freighter is going to go back to Severus, or Severus, Snape, as the case may be. Uh, because that means I can use him to go up and down and up and down. I'm also going to move one of my frigates over to serve as a close escort to my dreadnought. And drop you the sect.data file. I, I mean, sure. Why not? That'd be interesting. All right, let's end the turn. House de Cados. The League Navy keeps moving around, and I'll tell you what, it's making me nervous. Uh, do I want a second engineer? I do want a second engineer up here. Or to finish producing a tracker legion. Yeah, give me like one or two more trackers. Genetics for immunology, done. Map from Cadavis, map from Veracruz, reject. What could you build here? Uh, I couldn't build a farm, although at the, the farm would be really valuable here. Okay. You one more step. 
Now I can build a farm. Good, 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 good. Uh, I am about to go actually literally negative on food, so I can't do that. I need to buy some food. Let me buy... Ugh, that is crushingly expensive. I hate that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm 23 negative. I'm gonna buy just a little tiny bit of food. I'm gonna buy a hundred food. Uh, and that should keep me afloat for long enough for this farm to uh, expand its collections a little bit. I want you to land over there. Pick up these trackers. Launch. And go over to Cadavis. I'd like you to go to Cadavis, please. Thank you. This guy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, this militia, I'm going to disband, because I don't need him. This militia, I'm going to disband, because I don't need him. You're listed in the game's credits? Cool, what'd you do, dude? What did you make? What was your contribution for helping with the advanced edition? Nice. Hi, right, Jabro. Glad you could hang out with us for a while. We are going to be wrapping up the stream in just a little while here. Um, right now we're at uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up before the three hour mark because I have something else I got to do at three o'clock. All right, you two get back into the church. Uh, ooh, do I think I can take the shield? I would love to. If I could take the shield and then the starport. Mm. What have I got? I got five trackers. I got three tanks. I got an artillery. He's got his Nissan, his laser cannons. He's got infantry. I think I could take him. I'm going to try it. We're going for the gusto. Assault. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Nice. Excellent. Okay, so having the shield conquered means that um, these hexes around us, we now have control of the shield and we can't, like, it, it's, it's, it's easier. Stuff's better. I wish I could have captured one of their laser cannons, but unfortunately, the laser cannon that retreated did so into their starport. Another stream in another eight months? Yeah, probably. Um, I'm actually going to swap that for an engineer. Yeah, just cancel production, start building an engineer. Over here, you can start building an AT gun. That's fine. These guys need to take off. And we are going to uh, start loading up our assault landers again. They can land in the shield area, unload their guys. And now I think, I mean, I think I can, yeah, I'm just going to bum rush the starport. Yeah, my trackers aren't even being detected. Perfect. Excellent. Listen to spotted. Starport, you can take those artillery guns captive. Perfect. Uh, now we've got a factory and a chemical output. Uh, unfortunately, every time I capture one of these, uh, every time I capture one of these places, it's costing me more food because they keep eating food like the bastards they are. Um, I think we've already eaten through all the food that I purchased, so I need to buy more food. Fuck. 
Um, so the starport is a place where you can build spaceships, except that we don't have the technology to build any spaceships yet, so we can't do anything with this really. Uh, I would love to build a farm. That is going to be my next step here, but before I can do that, I'm going to need to buy more food from the League. Uh, I wish I still had my farm, but they stole it from me. The bastards. Uh, all right, how much how much food negative am I? Uh, I'm negative forty two food right now. Let me let me finish any other conquests I plan. Um, I could take the chemical plant. It costs energy and trace minerals. I am positive on trace minerals. So. I mean, I mean, yeah, I can just do that. God, I love trackers. They're so good. And then all that's left is this artillery and a, uh, and they only have five spotting. So I think my trackers could just like, I think if I just send in the trackers by themselves, I think they take this without being spotted. Yeah, they do. Cool. I literally can't capture this unit because I can't walk far enough, unfortunately. Um, so, the militia, we're going to disband. And the flak gun, we are... I guess we'll keep that. Uh, up here, the artillery will keep. Barely can afford food in the modern economy. Very realistic. Okay, cool. So I've taken all these cities. Um, my tax revenue has gone through the roof because of that, which is fantastic. I desperately need to get a couple of farms built. So we've got... We've got... Gonna have engineers under construction. Unfortunately, engineers take 100 food. That's actually what ate up all the food that I bought. It was the engineer that I built. I forgot that engineers take 100 food to build. Um, so we're gonna... We need, like, another... like, 200 food from the Agora. Um, that's fine, because we are now actually making money, which is great. Uh, so, I am negative... 63 food at the moment so this will hold me for a few turns and i should be able to kind of stabilize a little bit and be in good shape but yeah we've taken the whole um the whole little central area here i'm gonna just throw down a militia in the starport real quick so we have a little bit of a garrison uh the trackers they're good trackers are super super good uh i love them them being really it, honestly, it's the camo and the spot that make them so useful because they have that... They can't be seen by base tech units. Like, base tech anti-aircraft and, and artillery and shit just literally can't see them unless they have somebody else with them. So, yeah, fantastic. Uh, we have now taken the central region of the planet. Uh, and then next turn, we'll be able to hop back in our little transports and pop around. I'm hoping this is a farm. I, if that's a farm, then I'll just capture it real quick, and it'll be great. Um, we don't have, have to worry about any more uh, anti-space guns. So we can just kind of group up a little bit and drop off more trackers in other places. Cool. Let me end the turn real quick. Agility is what's testing daggers. Yep, that's right. House de Cados. The computer doesn't seem to cheat then. Nope, the computer does not cheat in this game. It's it's very nice. Um, let me go ahead and research. Since I have a relic and I'm curious, I'm gonna research theurgy. I finished producing a medium tank. Let me build another one. Finished producing a tracker legion. Let me build another one. Let me build another one. I'm not gonna build another militia. Fuck militia. Deposit armor for thirteen hundred bucks. Nope, nope. Not being spotted. Yes. Uh, if you're invisible, your agility is high. Boom. 
exploded, mercilessly detonated. Go into the chemical plant, please. Okay, you move to the factory. You, artillery, move there. You go to the factory. Uh, you. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so we've got a bunch of our dudes right there. No. Tracker, 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 tracker. Tracker. Okay, that is a farm. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Wonderful. All right, harvesting 65 food. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, well, we're still not quite positive on food, but we're close, baby. We're close to positive on food, baby. The only map hacks are Inquisitors. Yeah, well, the Inquisitors cheat in a lot of ways. What can I say? Okay, so now we're only, now we're only, uh, six points negative on food. Um, and with another farm or two, we will be in good, good shape. Uh, we are also producing chemicals for the first time. Uh, we are still positive on trace minerals. Uh, we are still positive, very much positive on energy, which is great. Uh, and we can use the chemicals eventually to produce biochems uh, and produce uh, horrible, terrifying space marines. Which are exactly what we want in this life. We want space marines. Uh, we've got, it looks like, just one more area where we have uh, places we can take. You hop over to Severus, or Severus, however you want to pronounce that. And we can pick up some more units in a little bit. But yeah, we're doing good. We're having fun. And we have begun conquering our second planet. Um, with the resources from that planet, we will be able to conquer some of these, uh, this last ruin. Uh, we may even be able to finally take out that army in the farm and reconquer that. I would love to be getting some gems. I would love, 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 love to set up a mine down here and start getting gems because gems are uh, A, just really expensive. We can sell them for a lot of money and you have to have them to produce singularities. Uh, so having an, a source of gems means that we can natively produce spaceships, uh, which is amazing. But yeah, if we could get, if we could sneak a bunch of tracker legions in to attack that ruin, that would be the bee's knees. A bunch of tracker legions and a gunship, I think, might do it. Like, that might be the solution. I believe it's actually more economical to sell gems and buy singularities. I don't know. Okay, so 300 per point. That's 2,100 if you sell seven gems. At the Agora, singularities right now are purchased for 7,000. So it's like, ugh. I don't know. It's a, a singularity costs a lot of money. Now, the monopoles are also expensive. The monopoles are actually worth more than gems right now. It's manufacturing monopoles, I think, and selling them that makes you money. Because if you sell seven gems plus ten monopoles, ten monopoles is five grand, seven gems is two grand, that right there will buy you a singularity, and you did it without having to spend energy. So that's probably the way to do it. Of course, that relies on the league having singularities available to sell. Um, now, do I have any... Yes, I have this guy here. We're building roads. Okay. And next. That little army, that's fine. Um, yeah, let me get this... This little army on the transports. And then we'll assemble four more units. We'll send eight units down around this way. 
Um, we'll land him here, and we'll walk him over here to attack that uh, that little area. Uh, the league will restock, yes, but it takes some time. It's not instant. You're a sentry unit. You're a sentry unit. Uh, I don't need any of you to do anything. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of my power armor here in this fort. Uh, you can... I can build tracker legions here, uh, and I could also build officers. So, okay, I think I might start doing this. I'm going to start building officers here on Byzantium Secundus, and then converting them into spies. So that I can, like, you know, start doing spy shit. Very cool. Lots of fun. Um, oh, yeah, you can land, can't you? Uh, well, you don't need to land. In the turn. House de Cados. Yes, thank you. It is still House de Cados. It always has been, and it always will be. Okay, more tracker legions. Yes, that's fine. Anti-tank gun. Um, engineer? Uh, no, let's not build anything right now. Regent elections next turn. No, I'm not giving you that. I'll give you the composite armor. That's fine. Landed that fort. Uh, I could build a farm here. 27 food and 10 exotica. 1, 2, 3, 4. What about here? 32 food and 10 exotica. Yes, let's go ahead and build the farm. Uh, I actually failed to connect the road, which is very silly of me, but oh well. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Would like to board the transport. Oh, that's right. Aircraft can't... Oh, okay, so aircraft can't board a transport, I guess. That's funny. I thought they could. I might have to build, like, a special aircraft carrier unit in order to get a gunship onto a transport. Huh. Okay, well, let's have this gunship fly down to this well of mine, and then it has 12 move. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so from the well, the gunship can reach to attack uh, this ruin. That's good. Um, I need two more units, and I'll be loaded up. Noticed the missing road, but thought it was some advanced strategy. Ha! As if... No, not at all. It was simply me being a fool. Uh, I am within one point of food independence again. One point. So as soon as this this place starts producing, it will be good. Uh, you... We're still building trackers over here, so... Load up those two and then wait. Meanwhile, on... Uh, desert planet. I want those four to load up into the assault transports. We will take off. And we will land right over there. Yes. Ooh, it's a well. Let's see if these four can take this well. I think they can. Oh, one of them was spotted. Okay, only one was spotted. The other three did it. Spotted. Capture that militia and then disband it. I guess I shouldn't have done that, actually. I could have could have used that. Oh, it's four points of metal over here. That's kind of neat. And there is a fort. Unit spotted. What do they got? Militia, anti-tank gun, artillery. I mean, okay. I feel like I can probably just take that this turn as well. Because if we land you in the well and unload the troops...
Yeah, there we go. Done. Fort captured. Boom. Excellent, excellent. Is this, is this game fun to watch? Good. I'm glad. That is what I want to achieve. Um, fun to watch, and it's fun to play. I mean, it really is. I, I deeply, deeply enjoy games like this, and especially now that this game has been patched, and it's actually, like, more functional. It's great. Uh, there's one more area right up there, but it is time for me to call it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your attention. Uh, hopefully, this was fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly enjoy this game. Uh, so I will be playing more of this in the future. Uh, leave a like on the stream if you liked it. That lets the YouTube uh, algorithm know not to hide my stuff so that it's easier for y'all to find next time. Uh, and I will see you in the next stream. I don't know when exactly it's going to be. Uh, I might do another one later this week when I have a day off or something. But I will let you know. As always, check out my Discord. Uh, somebody post a link to the Discord in the chat, please. That be should be doable. I forgot to put one in the description, but I'll edit one in later. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a good weekend, and I will see you next time.